Oh, hi Cancer. That needed a big deep breath. I don't know what you're trying to send to yourself on this week. Anyway, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is your week ahead reading, a general one. All the housekeeping's down below. I picked the Moonchild deck because Cancer is the Moonchild of the Zodiac. Ruled by the moon, dazzled by the moon, fascinated by the moon. So let's see what we've got for Cancer this week. Four of Cups in reverse. Are you finally seeing an opportunity taking, coming out of a period of apathy? Things that you saw on the peripheral are coming into view this week. Yeah, an opportunity. The universe is asking you to take moves towards learning your lesson. You're worth that opportunity coming in, by the way. You've seen it on the peripheral because you've been doing the work on yourself. You've been working on your confidence, working on what you're supposed to be doing. Temperance is also here. You're finding, wow, okay. Finding the um, ability to take two opposites, making everything balance in your life. Finding that compromise that you're willing to, you could possibly have a Sagittarius coming in. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you're realising you can manage life on your own. Do you know what I mean? You're a full functioning person on your own. Congratulations, Cancer. You've been doing that work. Maybe this is you walking away from a relationship. You see there are other options out there for you. That you don't have to settle anymore for what you've got. You can choose to walk away from that and find that you're self-sufficient now. You're good on your own you know you're okay on your own that's why you can walk away from something that doesn't serve you you know you have other options the four of cups upside down is not being aware of another option there's another option for you actually if this is you with someone and another person comes in you have three options just so you know it's not just two it's three if you look there's a third arch behind this figure you're not aware there's a third option many other options behind but there's the person you're with, the person that's coming in, and there's also just being on your own, having time on your own. You can balance whatever you like. Again, two cups, one, the other, but there is the middle road of you on your own. One's never been what they could possibly, everything that it could be. One option. Another option has potential there and you can see that it could grow into something full bloom amazing. Or there's just you and you're fine on your own. All sunshine, all light, all dancing, right? Knight of Pentacles, yeah, being very, very choosy where you plant your seeds. Which field are you going to plant it in? Are you going to invest it in another person or are you going to invest it in yourself? What date are we at? Uh, new moon in it yesterday. So I'm filming this on the 12th, sorry. I had a new moon yesterday. I didn't do these reads yesterday because the moon was void of course and nothing productive happens on the moon. It's void of course. So, yeah, next week. You don't have to make this decision right away. I think you're being called to make it around the full moon. But the offer, the, the, the realisation that other options are out there for you will be coming in this week. And you're realising that you can do stuff on your own. You're realising that you don't have to settle anymore. You can compromise for what you're willing to accept from someone else. But you don't have to compromise. You can walk away. You can take that single option door, you know. That is like the view from the other side of the door of that gateway. The one that we can't quite see through. I don't think you have to make this decision for another week or two. What you want to do. But you are being called to make a decision of what way you want to progress forward. 
Like, what have you taken from your lessons that you've learned so far with regards to yourself and relationships? Or even a relationship within work. This can be work-related. There is pentacles here. You know, you can take the job that you're in. You can take the job that is being offered to you. Or you can choose the other option of neither of them. Then maybe there's another option coming up that you're going to be made a third option you're going to be made aware of. Um, Eight of Wands... Somebody's withholding their true feelings when they communicate. This is blocked communication, blocked. Again, at the full moon. Somebody's not opening their heart up to you. Maybe that's why you need to consider the, the single line. Maybe the, the other option comes in. Comes in talking to you. You know what I mean? Com starts communicating. And it lets you see that there's a possibility that the person you're with isn't the right person for you. And so you, you need to make that decision on that relationship based on you and them. How that makes you feel. This person is just a trigger for having that conversation with yourself sorry i'm gonna take my cardigan off it's really warm um yeah the um the person coming in is just a conversation start or it's a catalyst for making you realize oh no everything's not right in this relationship so you have to first of all make a decision on that relationship like does this relationship serve me does this make me happy am i compromising or am i settling I think at that point, that's when you decide maybe to walk away because I've got this independent. But you can make that decision based on the fact that you can decide whether you want to be with them, not because you need to be with them. Because you've done the work on yourself. You don't need another person. You're not codependent on the, the other person in, in your current relationship. So you can make that decision. Do I want to be with you or do I need to be with you? There's a difference. If you need to be with them, you still have work to do on yourself. If you want to be with them, great, stay with them. If you don't want to be with them, you are more than capable of doing that on your own, moving forward on your own. You can bring everything together. You're an alchemist. Natural manifestors. Cancers are natural manifestors. We will things into existence. Anyone's more powerful than us, a Pisces, in my opinion. You can will anything you want into existence. But once you've made that decision on your relationship, only then can you make a decision on where you want to invest your coin. Plant your seed. Set your flag. Only you can make that decision where to plant that. this other option then they're not going to be very forthcoming with their feelings right away or you're not maybe you're not in the mood to have the conversation about feelings with somebody new necessarily because you're trying to work out what it is you want done all this amazing work you're like i just wish i was okay on my own and now you're okay on your own it's like well now i've got to make a decision do i stay where i am do i make that work do i put the effort into my relationship but again, if you're having a conversation and they're not reciprocating the conversation about feelings, you need to decide whether it's worth investing in someone that doesn't communicate. Whether that's the new person, the person you're with, or even, do you know what I mean? Maybe you don't want to hear and have that conversation because you just kind of want to be on your own for a bit. You don't want people sliding into your DMs suggesting that you get together. Don't want to know. This is like not wanting to know. Also making decision between two choices. But again, is it you like sticking them in the background? Like, I don't want either of you. I'm good on my own. I want to do my path, my thing in the middle. Stepping into your power. Don't want either of you, thank you. Doing me. But the fact that that person come in and made you realise, wow, there is opportunity out there for me. And now you can start to dream about what it is you truly want for yourself. There's also messages of love coming in the Page of Cups. 
messages of love and emotion and feelings and creativity. Maybe there's something creative you want to get off the ground. But you need to get in tune with you. Again, two pillars, so two options. There's two pillars. You can have those two pillars. That's great. But look what's in the middle. Look at all that potential in the middle of you on your own. The moon's through there. So in tune with the moon. Yeah, shadow work. What is it that you truly want? You know, what? why do you not want to be with this person? It's this judgment card, learning your lessons, going within. What do I want? Why do I want to be with this person? Or why do I need to be with this person? What needs work on me? We're always a work in progress. There's always shadow work to be done. We can pretend we've got all our shadow work done. We haven't. But again, full moon. It's assessing what work do I need to do on myself? Do I need to be with this person? Do I not want to be with this person? Why do I need to be with this person rather than want to be with them? Why is this other option, you know, set a catalyst of me ass assessing the relationship I'm in? Only, only you can do that work. This is Empress Energy. If you look, her, her hand is away and her eyes are closed. And there's this hope, this light in her hand. I don't think you're going to pick the other person right away. Maybe they're potential and yes, you'll be up to, you'll still communicate with them. This isn't communication cut entirely. This is communications of feelings being shut off. You don't want to hear that they're in love with you and always have been. You, you not, Don't get me wrong, you're all for reconnecting, but you don't want, you don't want them to be, you, you don't want to jump from one to the other. It's like you kind of want a bit of time on your own. Like, yes, you coming in has made me realise that I'm not happy where I am. But equally, I'm not ready to be with another person, you know. I've got shit to deal with that's getting to know me and what I want. Absolutely, we'll stay in communication. We'll talk, reconnect. Maybe feelings grow from that. Do you know what I mean? But this is very much like heart communication. True heart love communication. Whether they're not forthcoming with their feelings right away. But the fact that they've communicated with you. And you see there's another option has opened up this whole like, wow, okay, what is it I truly want? You know, what's going to make me happy and balanced? Where's my line? Where's my middle road? Where's my happy road? Do you know what I mean? It's like there's two options that are very clear to you, but there's another option that you're just not seeing, which is you on your own. You, working on you with your own heart, your heart in your own hand, rather than giving it to someone else. No, I don't want anybody else. I've got my heart in my hand and I'm dealing with me right now. This option's very obvious, that option's very obvious. Very similar, slight differences. But your true power's within you and until you tap into that and know what you are and who you are and you're fully evolved. And I'm getting that you don't want to jump to somebody else right now. You kind of just want to be okay on your own and get used to having your own space and doing your own thing. And maybe you've never had to look after yourself before. You've never been properly single on your own before. And this is a great opportunity for you to finally go out and live and consider other options that are out there. You didn't want to see the options before because you're in a relationship and you're committed when you're in a relationship. You don't stray t generally. Sometimes you do. But I think maybe you have in the past and you really regretted doing that. Like, that was a bad decision. What did I do that for? It's cost me. That's why you didn't cheat in this one, possibly. But the options come in and you're like, there's still options out there for me. I don't have to settle for what I've got now because I don't want to be on my own. I'm good on my own. I think you've been doing the work to be on your own. And now it's like, right, I've got three options. This person, this person and just me. And I think you're going to go for just you. I don't think you want people want to have to consider other people's feelings. Yeah, you're open to talk to people and communicate and maybe flirt a little. But you're not looking for anything invested right now. Which is very sensible, by the way. The star, yeah, it's time to heal. See, two options again. And there's another middle path and this is you healing. You're on your own. Only you can heal you. 
working on your cup till it overflows then you can offer it to someone else i think you just need time on your own cancer working out what your wish is what is it you want you hope for you expect you've got judgment temperance empress star it's very much deciding what you want what's going to make you happy what's going to make you balanced what's going to fulfill you your path what's going to make you grow fully to your full potential you are the priority in this decision not who do i pick between them and them <sighs> no pick you always pick you if when you're ready for someone this new person's still there or the old person's still there great you can reconnect with them but right now i'm getting it's not even that you don't love someone or don't you know fancy someone and see the potential there it's not that it's just you kind of need to do you for you right now cancer that's what i'm really getting you need to go within fix past trauma do the shadow work you know what why do i keep jumping from person to person why am i scared to be on my own because you're capable this shows you're capable of being on your own. What you don't do is jump through the doorway and actually do it. I don't think you even want another person in your life right now. You just want to work on you and what it is you truly want. Just. There are other options for you now. It's made you aware that there's other options. You've become aware. Because you've done the work. You've realised your worth. And you're like, yeah. Do you know what? I have got something to offer someone. I don't know. I don't know who it is. I don't know. Any, you know. But there is. The option of you on your own is an option. I think that you just needed reminding that you can be single on your own. And be happy. What was it Emma Watson called it? Self-partnering? You can self-partner. Okay. Self-care card. Build strength. Internal. Strength as well as physical strength. And you have use your hands. To create something with your hands. And sing. Singing is amazing. I sing in my kitchen nearly every day. Sometimes the kids go to bed. We've also got nourish your temple on the bottom kids go to bed sometimes the kids are up actually sometimes they're playing with their friends on computer games and i'm just singing in the kitchen because i love it i'll stick on brian adams full pelt or don't call this emo and just get emotions out and do you know what songs are a really good way of witnessing emotions processing them and moving forward it's just a really healthy way of dealing with it you know, if you're on your own, stick some female empowerment and you're scared to be on your own, stick a female empowerment or a single lady song. Not, there's not enough of those songs, is there, in the world? Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, I'm on my own and that's fine. At least Miley Cyrus is bringing some out like that. Songs don't sell without pain, I suppose. And pain is heartbreak and needing someone else. But you're not codependent anymore. You don't need someone else. Anyway, I hope that has been of some help for you today, Cancer. Um, hopefully I'll see you again next week. If you feel like you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the box is down below. You can ding a bell to get notifications. I do have weekly reads, but I also do deck explorations as they come in. Um, so I don't know how you feel about notifications for those, but I'm just warning you that if you sign up for the tarot reads, you may, access, you may also get twice a week notifications of deck explorations at the moment they're twice a week but i've only got about five left to do so um until some more decks come in obviously so um they may not be as often as they are at the moment but at the moment they're twice a week mondays and thursdays so um yeah hopefully that's helped you in some way cancer stay safe stay well look after you maintain you as a priority and um i'll see you again soon bye for now